Okay, welcome everybody. This is going to be a tutorial on how to push audio through your microphone as a way to get better audio quality. So, first thing we're going to need to do is download a little program called Virtual Audio Cable, which will be linked in the description and will be part of a pinned comment or the comment at the top of the uh, comment section and in, and in the uh, bottom comments too. So, yeah, here it is just go here click on download here for windows that is click save file obviously find a suitable place to save it find it in your downloads or wherever you saved it double click it open it with file explorer or whatever you use to open zip files click on compressed folder tools right here click on extract tool you'll be able to extract it just like that click on wherever you extracted it click on setup x64 which should be what everyone should use I'm pretty sure no one has a 32 bit system nowadays so just click setup oh no wait actually no right click it and click run as administrator the only way to get it to install so here it was it should say install driver install that there and immediately go to the volume icon on your desktop or computer whatever click on sounds or recordings if those tabs aren't there just go to the start menu and type in control panel click on the control panel here uh, go to hardware and sound go to manage audio devices and this little box here should pop up first thing you want to do is this will be made your default you don't want that to be your default you want it to go back to whatever it was before so for me that is my headphones so click on your headphones there like that and then click set as default and secondly you'll go to whatever your recording device was before and you'll click on its pro you click on it go to properties go to listen and then click on this should be a little tick box here called listen to this device go on to this little drop down menu and click on the new device you've installed so cable input vb audio virtual cable click apply and okay oh in fact no make sure the volume level is nice and high as well so it's not something make sure it's all the way up click okay go to the properties of your newly installed audio cable make sure all the levels are nice and high so it's all at 100 100 that should be good and so now what you now have is a way to push input audio input into this into this device driver here and it will basically come out of this device and this device is what your new mic is now so wherever you wherever you select to be the the microphone the audio you push through will be heard as if it's as if it's through your mic and of course you're able to listen to your actual mic so your voice because it's now listening see here listen it's listening to your device so your also your mic audio has been pushed to the new virtual mic okay and so to get it to play an easy way to play audio through this is simply to use mp3 mp3 files and a virtual soundboard which will be here which will be in the description as well and it's called def counter and sound def counter and soundboard just click on that click on that this little icon here d dcsb 4.0.exe save it go to wherever you saved it install it so just double click it and just next 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 there you go it should say install there I've already got installed so I'm not going to click that and once it's installed you should find it here if not just type in DSCB oh wait 
DC SB. Yeah, there you go. It should appear there. Might want to make a shortcut for it or something so it's e easier to find. Go click on that. And from there, what you'll want to do is to set it up is quickly go to sound and select your default audio device so this is what your headphones would be or, or your speakers or whatever so for me my default is my headphones and you want your second your second output to be your virtual mic input and this is how you push audio to your microphone or to, or to your virtual microphone which is what you would select as your as your microphone in your default settings right uh, go to other and go to only enable sounds so this way you're not having to worry about this business of, of the counters and all that you, you don't want these counters things they're not they're not of any use to us for this so just click only sounds and from there what you do is you add us is you add sounds by clicking this little icon bottom left um, you select files so whatever audio file you want you just click on the audio name it blah blah and from there you can just double click it and it will play into your mic now that is a way for i guess uh pre thought out audio but you can also play basically audio from any source by clicking on by clicking on your audio devices again your audio sound or your sound or whatever go to open sound settings go to app volume device preferences and from there you can set any program that might play audio and set it to output its audio into your virtual mic so as you can see here uh, the top and bottom rows correspond to the input and output what you want to do for example if you want to play music or sounds from a from a browser you could sorry just got to do this real quick you might want to go to a, a dummy browser and click the output select cable input vv audio virtual cable and from there you'll be able to play audio through your mic from any from any source basically as long as you know where to go from here so again you just go to you just right click the volume icon bottom right side of your, of your task tray open sound settings Go to advanced sound options right at the bottom scroll right down app volume device preferences and just select whatever you want to push into your mic and go to output which is the top row and select cable input now i suggest if you want to push order into your mic from the internet i suggest setting up like just a, a dummy browser that you only use to push audio because otherwise stuff can get a bit messy I use Microsoft Edge because I don't use it and so what I can do with that now is I can push audio through to my mic I can quickly show you so this side is this side is my dummy 
browser that I use to push audio. As you can see in this side here, StreamYards is uh, detecting my voice because it's obviously set up to hear my voice. And to prove that it's going to the mic, I'll play that. I'm not going to talk. And as you can see, the volume thing went up because it's being played through the mic. Play it one more time. Right. And to, and so from now on, what you want to do is make sure whatever you want to, whatever you are going on to a panel, whatever, make sure that your input device is always your cable output. Because remember that is both listening to the cable inputs that we had before and it's listening to your mic so you can hear both. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also other ways to do it, but they're a bit more complicated. I don't, I don't think they're worth the, all the effort because once this is all set up, it's all easy to do now. So I can always, uh, whoops. Just put this on and it'll be fine. And now I can play this same audio file that's now in my soundboard whenever I want. So now there's no more setup to do. I just play this or I just go into this browser, go into YouTube, find the sound effect or whatever, and I just play it and it's all set up. It's a lot easier than it seems. So yeah, that's it all.